Cruise ships. Uh, I've been on a cruise ship. It's been a while. We uh, How many cruises have I been on? I've been on three. We did an MJ and BJ cruise back in the late 90s out of Tampa on a carnival ship, which was a total dump. It was an old, old ship. So I, I, that one, I'm sure that thing's been, I, I'm sure it's been sunk. It's a reef somewhere. I don't know. The Carnival um, Diarrhea of the Seas <laughs> had a long, illustrious history. Uh, yeah, so that was my first. And then I was on two Holland Americas. We did the Inside Passage Alaska cruise, which was nice. I enjoyed that. And then we did a 10-day Mediterranean. And this is when the kids were really little. This is back in the early 2000s or mid-2000s. And the kids were little. And so I've, I've only been on three cruises. Now, Roxanne, you guys have been on a cruise. We have. I went with my last cruise I was on was in 2010 with my mom, my sister, and Doug. Okay. And but not with my children. I have not. Right. Oh, you haven't with the kids? No. Okay. Uh, Fessa, you weren't you just on a cruise with the kids recently? Last year. Last year. We went on two cruises, right. which were the first two cruises we've taken in ever together. Right. I went on the MJ Morning Show cruise with... I had to bunk with Hurricane. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, Froggy, what about your cruise history? We did uh, a couple of Disney ones. I was I went on one when I was a kid. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is there's a woman named Tammy Barr, and Tammy worked on cruise ships for a number of years, and she says there are six things she'd never do on board a cruise ship. Hmm. And I think these are interesting. She says, never shell out extra money for the dining upgrades. You know, you get the food that's included, and then a lot of times these cruise ships have uh, other restaurants on board, like the steakhouse. You can upgrade. She says, no, never shell out extra money for the dining upgrades or drink packages. She recommends, I remember we had a whole thing with the drink packages that... Which cruise line was it? We had something like two, three weeks ago about that they limit you to 15 drinks a day. <laughs> oh, have, how can you get through the day with only 15? Yeah, I mean, my God, I wanted 27, <laughs> and I only got 15 drinks. <laughs> but she says, don't do the drink packages. She says, oh, this is obvious, don't touch certain surfaces with bare hands. Right. What? And she says, wearing a room key as a necklace is a no-no. And also... Returning to the ship on time. So, first of all, she says that, you know, $12 for a steak or lobster tail at dinner or a special restaurant at dinner uh, might not seem like a lot. But she says, listen, you've already paid for all-inclusive food. Why should you give them more money? That's uh, number one. Then she says the unlimited drink packages, no. Because there are many passengers that leave the ship and then go to bars Ashore, or they they yeah. get drinks ashore, and if you're going to pay for those, why do you need the all inclusive drink package? So she recommends not doing the all inclusive drink package. And then, as far as touching surfaces, this is common sense. You know, pushing elevator buttons. Uh, you know, use your knuckles or your elbows or whatever. Uh, let's like hand railings. I mean, I would be very. I'd rather risk the fall and a broken femur. Then touch a hand railing. Not on a boat. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> the one place you grab the handrail is a boat. Well, then you need to get some food service gloves yeah, on, right. okay? And and then shed those things. And, and you know, it's the whole neurovirus thing. So be very careful on all. Hey, like if you're at a buffet, do they still buffets that we got to use tongs that 300 other people just touched before you? Yeah, that's why it's oh, called yeah. a buffet. Yeah, yeah. I, I will never forget the courtesy that you provided at your first dinner party that we went to where we had our individual tongs during the COVID oh, days. Oh, yeah. Remember that? What Absolutely. A classy move. And listen, I, like for instance, uh, I think I'm the only one that does this, but when I go to Fred's Marketplace in Plant City with Michelle, they have the little gloves at the beginning of the buffet. You can grab the gloves the little plastic gloves to put them on, and I use it every time. I don't want to touch tongs and then grab the fried chicken with my hands, you know, when I eat. So I use the gloves. Just, it's common sense. And then, oh, and then uh, don't wear your room key around your neck. Some people, what, wear a room key, like, with a lanyard around their neck? <laughs> What's the matter with that? Yeah. Because you look pretentious, you look like a tourist, and it's an invitation to be robbed 
when you're ashore. Do you really look pretentious, or do you just look like... Who the hell cares about what other people (laughs) think you look like? She's a cruise employee. I'm just giving you some tips. Screw her. On the boat, on the boat, I think everybody wears their key around their neck. Yeah. I think uh, at port, you maybe put it away. I get that. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, get back to the ship on time, and we've seen some of those videos where people are running Mm. to catch the ship. They were told that we are pulling out of port at 3 p.m., be back on time, and some people do excursions or they go off on their own and they're not uh, ship uh, excursions. Yeah. They're not official. And if you don't get back to the ship on time, there are many videos of people running to the ship, running nonstop to the ship. And, you know, some people don't make it. And they're like on the dock and they're like on their knees begging and they collapse on the. I've seen numerous videos of people didn't get back on time. 